I posted this photo over on Instagram and asked if you could tell what specific Lightroom feature I had used to edit this photo. If you take a close look, you might be able to notice it. It's also in this photo that I took of Rich because he took the other one of me. And if you're really keen, you probably spotted that the background has this grain to it, but it's not the standard Lightroom grain that you just throw over the entire image. It's actually the new grain masking feature, which I absolutely love. And I'm gonna show you how to use it in a way that is really clever, or at least that I find is really clever because I've been using it on a whole bunch of my photos. Now to understand this and why it's helpful, it helps to go back to photography and the principles of what makes a good photo. Usually a good photo is defined by some sort of contrast. The contrast can either be two contrasting colors, it can be something smooth versus something that has texture, it can be something that's dark versus something that's light. Like in this photo, it's got a good amount of contrast between the subject, which is dark, and the background, which is light. Or if I go back to this other photo, you know, my shirt is kind of plain and simple versus the water, which has a little bit of texture and the sky, which, which has a little bit of clouds. So having contrast in your photo is a way to help the photo pop, to help it be a better photo than if, say I had shot this at night when I was just in a black t-shirt standing against a black background. In the past, if you wanted to apply some grain to your photo, either to give it that film look or just kind of to dirty the photo up to give it a little bit of an aesthetic, the only way to do that would be to go all the way down to effects and then grab this grain slider. And of course you can back it off so there's no grain or you can go full crazy and then it just adds noise to the entire image. Admittedly, it's a fun effect to use, but the problem is then you're losing some fidelity in the areas of the photo that really matter. Like in this case, it'd be nice if I could have myself be nice and clear, but maybe add a little bit of texture to the background. This version of the photo where I've only applied grain to the background allows myself or the subject or the thing that it is that you're shooting to stand out and be clear while the rest of the photo can kind of have a little bit of texture and really create that contrast that we're ideally trying to achieve in all of our photos. But let's do an example of this together. So here's another photo where I've used the exact same technique. If I zoom in, you can see what it is that I'm talking about. I've got a good amount of contrast. I've got a little bit of an edge light, so I'm popping off the background and the background has that noise. But if I undo it, this is what we got. It looks great, but I think I wanna dirty it up a little bit and really give this photo a little bit of something extra. So I'm gonna go into my masking tab. I'm gonna create a new mask and say, select background. If I now scroll down to where we see this, this is the new grain setting that's specifically within that mask. And I can drag that up and the more I drag it up, the more grain I'm adding, but I'm only adding it to the background. And of course you can tweak how big the grain is and how rough it is, or kind of like how, how dirty it looks. Like is it little needles or is it kind of like big chunks of grain? Really nice that you have that option. Now if that's a little bit too much, what I did in my original photo is I actually did a subtract and then I grabbed a linear gradient and I just dragged that over the foreground so that I could have a nice clean foreground, and it kind of looked like the grain was fading in from the foreground to the background. Super quick tip, a super awesome feature, so hopefully you enjoy it and you get to use it in your photos. If you wanna see more videos like this, you can check out either of these Lightroom editing tutorials. And until the next one, go shoot some photos. <laughs>